Hello, I'm Dr. H. Christian Gunnarsson with Advanced Computer Cooling. Welcome to Water Chiller versus Computer. The setup is simple. One water chiller, one jar filled with antifreeze and water, one pump, and one temperature gauge. After a few hours, the temperature is staying at 25 degrees below dew point, or 25 degrees below room temperature. The clock is starting at zero. We are going to go 36 straight hours at no load, followed by another 36 straight hours at 100% load. The CPU temperature is starting at 105.8. See the room and liquid temperatures fluctuating. On the back monitor, you can see time flying by. The red line is showing 0% load. All the while, we are staying at 25 degrees below dew point creating maximum CPU efficiency and maximum CPU energy savings. See the condensation dripping off the uninsulated tubing, going from the chiller to the jar to the CPU water block. It is protected by our patented water barrier system and our patented wick protection system. After 36 hours at no load, the CPU temperature is still 105.8. At 100% load, the red line is rock steady, and the CPU has not changed temperature at all. It is still 105.8. The idea behind the patents are simple. Refrigerate the parts that make the heat. Is it cheaper to cool a 500,000 square foot data center or just the 40 or 50 square feet of the parts that make the heat? Everyone agrees that liquid cooling is the next logical step for data centers. Refrigerating the liquid is the next logical step from there. Dell states its Triton system can save 97% off of electrical costs with a PUE of 1.03. By comparison, our system is more effective. It's the only system that goes below dew point, allowing us greater electrical savings by removing fan, fan walls, and cooling towers. Data center temperatures can be raised 20 degrees with no loss of efficiency. You can increase component density and have higher efficiency per CPU, along with longer component life due to less wear and tear on the systems. These are core patents. They're scalable and flexible and can be used on any microprocessor where heat is an issue, from robotics, storage, military, or telecom. The patents have the ability to save billions of dollars a year in electrical costs, along with billions of dollars a year in profit by building and selling products off of the core patents, along with other licensing possibilities. I'm Dr. H. Christian Gunnarsson with Advanced Computer Cooling. Thank you for watching and have a great day.